Hey guys, welcome back to another Flame and Stuff video. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can turn a old controller like this one, Arduino compatible. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting in this Arduino Nano here, which is hooked up to a NRF 24L01 radio module, which will then take the values we give it with the potentiometers and send it to another module. In addition, I'll also be using some Wago connectors as well as some wiring to help make sure everything is nicely connected in there. So first we gotta open this guy up and to do that I'm just gonna unscrew all these uh, small screws. Now we can open up the controller. Alright now let's uh, Take out these screws here, take out this board. So we can have better access to the wiring. Now with this thing out of here, we can start unplugging all of the wires that connect the various electrical components of the controller to the main motherboard. Now with all the wires disconnected, uh, we can see which wires do what. So with my potentiometer here, I'm just going to see which wire was bringing power to the main motherboard and that wire then I'm going to connect to the Arduino. Alright, so it seems to be this wire right here, so I'm just going to hook this wire up to the volt in pin on the Arduino and then I'm going to hook up ground to the ground pin here. Subsequently, I'm going to have to attach all of the red wires to the 5 volt pin here and then all the black wires to the ground pins here or here. Then also have to attach all the white wires, this is where we're going to be reading, and I'm going to attach all these to the analog input pins. The analog input pins will be read by the Arduino and can then be sent through the NRF 24L01. And you then you can also, if you want to have buttons on your controller, then you can use the integrated ones and just use these wires here and connect those to the digital pins on the Arduino. So now let's start off by cutting off all the red wires for the connectors and twisting them together. So for all the connecting of wires in this, I'm going to be using Wago connectors just because of how easy they are to take on and off just by opening and closing these little tabs here. But if you have other ways of connecting it, like by just uh, twisting stuff together or soldering, that's also totally fine. And same thing for all the black wires. Now we can put the white wires from the potentiometers onto our Arduino. And in this case, I'm very lucky because the plugs just fit on so nicely onto the pins. We can now hook up the five volt and ground sides of the potentiometers to the Arduino using some jumpers. We can now remove the negative side of the battery from this plug here and then connect the positive end of the battery to the V-in on our Arduino and then strip the ground wire and connect that to the Wago connector that is connected to the rest of the grounds. Now with everything connected, we got to make sure that when we close this, the components we added are in a, a open space so we can just shift them around a little bit. And then we can bring the two halves back together carefully, make sure that they fit together, and then we can just screw back together. 
Now, for some weird reason, the light doesn't seem to be turning on, but if we take a peek inside, we can see that the lights of the Arduino Nano are lighting up. So yeah, now I have uh, written up some code that reads in the values and sends them out through the nrf 24 lo one module. I've also hooked up another Arduino to my computer with another radio module attached to it so it can output the values to my screen. I'll put a link on how to set up an nrf 24 lo one in the description. As you can see, when I move the joystick around, the corresponding number is output to the screen indicating where the joystick is currently at. And with that, you could uh, either drive a RC car around or a RC plane or a drone or something like that or whatever you want. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys learned something new. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Flame out.